welcome back to my channel Kids of Heart Toys and today is Fun Craft Friday and I have a pretty fun craft I would like to show you today. Um, it's, it's on the internet, it's, I'm sure some, some of you might have seen this project. Uh, I did this about three years or so ago with my daughters and they have fun making them and um, <laughs> they're still working. They're called Jellyfish in a Bottle. I don't know, I'm going to try to move this and see if you can jellyfish is right here and there he's rising to the top you can see his head is right there there he is he's, he's going up there now so it's, it's a cool little thing it, it just moves whenever you move the bottom and it's kind of fun um and I have that one in this one and they're getting old you can see because the bottle is getting warped. <laughs> it's warped all over on this one. Uh, yeah, but anyway, it's just a little jellyfish in a bottle. It's a really fun craft to do. Um, and you, you can even use, the, I actually, first time I did it, I think I just chose balls that were too small. It just didn't work as well. So, I mean, they work okay. You can see them floating. What I like about the translucent ones is you can see the little bubbles collected on its tentacles, so it's really kind of cool. But um, today I thought I'd show you how to make them. It'll be a fun craft to do inside and stuff because it's where I know where we are. It's way too cold to be outside, and so we've, I've been doing a lot of art stuff and craft stuff. So this is a really nice rainy day, snow day craft to do at home. And so I will show you how to make them. And like I say in all my craft videos that before you do anything, please just get your parents' permission. Or even better yet, maybe they'll help you make one. So anyway, I'm gonna put these over here. And so this, these are the bottles I chose. I'm gonna do two different bottles. Uh, I'm gonna try to make two different ones. As you can see, you can use any size. But I have to say, they, this bottle is like, you know, a standard Dasani water bottle. And it really was too small, so I would choose, try to choose something that's bigger than this. And even this one, because this one was just too skinny. Um, but these ones I have chosen, this was actually a Voss water bottle, Voss brand water. And um, I love this bottle. This bottle I think will be perfect for a habitat for a jellyfish. And I have filled it with water, and this was just a juice. This might be a little more challenging to see the, the jellyfish. And what they say to do, I didn't do it just because it doesn't bother me, but once you take the label off, sometimes it'll have the sticky stuff here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, little, it's quite sticky, actually. But they say you can take some goo gone or something um, and just, you know, put some on it and, and get it off. But it doesn't bother me. There's enough, there's enough clean spaces, so that'll be fine. So I plan to put two jellyfish in this one since it's so big. Okay, so what you need is... You can use a two liter type of like soda bottle or container, or you can use just like a big water bottle. And these are the actually the other water bottles I've saved because they were just really cool, really cool shapes. And they would make good habitats, or this would even make a good sensory, um, I don't know, they have these sensory things that have glitter and water and oil in them and it's supposed to you know, be really pretty and stuff. So this would even make a good sensory bottle to use. And then I found this other. So these are both water bottles, but they'd make great either jellyfish habitats, or I think I'm gonna save them for some other project. So anyway, woo! <laughs> Sometimes I buy water just if the bottle's cool. I'll just buy the water for that. <laughs> this one, I love this one a lot, it's like my favorite. All right, so you need water, bottles, and you fill it with water. Um, I'm trying to get all my equipment here. You would need food coloring. Um, blue is the typical one you'd use because you want the water to be like blue like the ocean. I'm going to try something different with one of them. I'm going to try to put a little green and blue in it because you know how some water is like a bluish green. I'm going to try. If it doesn't turn out good, then I'll just, I'll just rinse it and put blue in it. But anyway, you need food coloring. You need some thread. So I just got gray because that was handy. You need some scissors, and you need some bags. And I will have, I, I looked for it, it's just called Jellyfish in a Bottle. I looked on the internet, tried to find this craft. I found a, a number of them, but there's one that looked simple enough 
you know, that I thought I would put the link in the description box below so you can have it and, and look at it as well. And the one that I did years ago suggested this type of bag. It's just a bread bag. You can see that. But you would cut out the clear part. You just cut out the clear part. So this will make a small jellyfish because this, this label is so big. But I'm just probably going to cut this little rectangle here, like this little bit here and here. So we'll see what we can do with it. Or, but then the other um, website that I'm going to share in the description box is you can use grocery bags, just as long as they're kind of see-through. Um, they suggested like this white one, this white one, you can cut just the, cut the handles, cut the bottom, have this, this would be the, what you would have. But I decided I was going to be a little daring and do colors because jellyfish are different colors sometimes. So I found this pink one and I found this pretty blue one. But I don't know if I'm going to use it for this time. And then I have this plastic bag that's very bright. I don't know if it will work. But there's a very pretty blue on this side and then there's a pretty red on that side. So I think I'm going to use this bag to make two different colors. And if it doesn't work, then I'll use these bags, which probably are more translucent. But So I'm probably, for this one, for this one right here, this big one, I'm going to do a blue jellyfish and a red jellyfish. Just see what happens. So, and then, and then this bottle is just going to be the clear from here. Okay, so, let me see. So after you've cleaned your bottle, I might have to pause this a few times just to <laughs> get things ready, but anyway, uh, first step is you have a bottle, you take the label off, you clean it so it's nice and clear, fill it with some cold water, that's why I filled it with cold water, and then you will take it, and then you add just a couple drops of food coloring, I'm going to do blue in this one, just plain blue, or is this the one that's going to do blue-green? Yeah, I think I'm going to do just blue because I'm going to have colors in this one. So I'm going to do just blue. Ooh, no, no, no. I'm going to do just blue in this bottle. I'll just put a few drops in there. You can't see. Here we go. So, one, two, three, three is good because this is a big bottle. I think three drops are good. And then, is that cool just watching it go down? I just want to watch it go down for a second. Cause that is really cool. And it gets a little bit down here and then I'll shake it up. Yeah, so you put the food coloring in the bottle. That is just really cool. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> this is going to be too long of a video. Alright, I'm going to shake it. Well, I'm going to try to shake it. Shake, 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 shake. That did a pretty blue. I like that blue. I'm happy with that. Okay, so there's our ocean in that one. And then I'm going to be daring and try blue and green in this. I don't know what's going to happen. If it doesn't turn out good, I might just pause the video. And I'll get another thing of clear water and we'll just stick with blue. <laughs> Some oceans are blue-green, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. But look, look at that's pretty cool. I think I just watched them go down for a minute. That's cool. I like that. That looks really neat. Okay, well enough of that. It is cool, but I can't spend too much time watching it. Okay, so I'm going to shake this up. See what happens. It might be too green. Actually, I actually like this color. It's like a teal, but it is like a, you know, some oceans have that greenish hue, or maybe it's too green. What do I do? I think I might add one more drop of blue. Because you want more blue than green, and I don't know, in my opinion, you do. I'm gonna try to add one more drop of blue. Mm. Nervous, nervous. Alright, I'm gonna shake this up and see what happens. It's already starting to shake up. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah, I think I like that color. It's a pretty neat color. Alright, so this is what this color is going to be. This one's going to be like a teal bluish ocean, and this will be a blue blue ocean. Okay, now the next step, I'm going to put these guys way back here. Some, uh, 
You also want to make sure your bottle doesn't leak. That's very important. But this one doesn't leak. It just got a little bit of water. Oh, maybe it does leak. That would be good if it leaked. I don't think it leaked. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Hopefully it's not going to leak. Because that, what's the point of having it in this bottle if it's going to leak? Okay, anyway. Um, next step is to cut your plastic. So I'm going to cut this. I'm probably going to cut it as good as well as I can. I'm just going to try to cut that rectangle or square. Eh. Not the best scissors, I guess. Eh, not the best scissors. Okay, I'm going to do this other side. Almost get it. Okay. And just cut this across. Not the best. Not the best. Oh. I don't know how big of a of a jellyfish this is going to make because it's not much plastic. I got it anyway, because so there's a piece of plastic. Like I said, it might be too small, but unfortunately I don't have any other plas clear plastic that's good enough on here. I guess if you're going to go for the clear, you'd probably try to get a sandwich bag that doesn't have a, a lot of, at, you know, a lot of lettering on it, because there are some like that. Okay, and now I'm going to do this bag. This, one, this is going to be for this one. I'm gonna try this bag and see what happens on it. I have to have a good amount. Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I think honestly one of these sides would be good enough, so I'm gonna start putting it all the way down to about here. I'm not going to use all of this. I just want to have a good amount so I can determine where I'm going to, where my jellyfish is going to start and end. I can do that. Okay. This here. Okay, it's good size plastic. I'm not going to probably use that much. I'm going to do the other side with the blue. Okay. There, I got a good piece of blue. Alrighty. Let's try to figure out how we're going to do this. <laughs> this part gets a little tricky in my opinion. We need some thread. If I can get this thread started, I haven't used this yet for anything. I don't see a starting, I don't see a starting place for it. Hmm. I do not see one. It must be right. There it is. Okay, I found it. Figured it must have a starting point. I'm gonna take some thread. That's probably enough. Eh, okay. Got my, got my piece of thread. You probably trim it and it's quite long. I don't need that much. It's just knowing how to do this. Okay, so the point is I'm supposed to have a head for the jellyfish. And the rest of him is supposed to be tentacles. But it's supposed to be a good size little because you need to catch the air and everything. Ugh. I always found this to be the most difficult for me anyway. So I think that's a good help. 
So, and you're not supposed to tie the thread tightly around it because you have to have water and air in here for him to float, you know, and do all that. But let me, this is tough because the sides, rectangle is not really the right shape. I think a square would be a better shape for this guy if he was a square because it's going to be hard to, it's going to be hard to make sure that he's wrapped well enough. I'm going to try, I'm going to try, so I'm going to put the thread there, hold on to it so I can, I'm going to wrap it loose, I can't wrap it tightly, I just want to make sure that I have the other parts of it so that it doesn't fly up. <laughs> so I'm attempting to tie this. Like my thumbs. Here we go. I'm tie that as best as I can and make a knot so it doesn't escape. escape. There we go. I think that'll be good. Now I'm going to trim these little ends here so they're not in the way. Okay. I think I did this one anyway. <laughs> so see, he has a little. That's his head. Um, his little sides are very. So what you do now is you cut strips up until about here. Little strips, and those are his tentacles. So I'm going to try to do some of those carefully too, very carefully. This is plastic; doesn't cut very well. Be careful not to cut the other parts of the plastic. I'm just gonna try that. So you do it all the way around. This can be tedious. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to poke him, or it's just hard to. I'd like for him to have longer tentacles here. I'm gonna try to carefully cut. There we go. I gave him a longer one. Alright, I'm gonna try to do it again. Getting there. I'm getting there. So I think I'm gonna do this one to show you what it might look like, and then I will do. I will, you know, pause the camera and do the other ones because this would take way too long if I did this all on the camera. So oh, I have a lot more. <laughs> Okay. Where do you start when you begin to die? Trying so hard not to cut it. Like I said, this is kind of tricky because you don't want to cut the other tentacles off. And you have to make sure the other tentacles are out of the way. Trying so hard and you don't want to cut yourself either. That's, <laughs> that's also an important feature. Do not cut yourself. You might want to get your parents to help you with this if you're young enough, because, yeah, this might, you know, adult help might be a good thing for this. You just have to be very careful with scissors. Eh. He's trying to escape already. You can't escape yet. Right? I think I'm doing all right. Just have one more. They actually look like tentacles. Might make you a little bit. Uh, what? I just got one more. It's too thick to be a tentacle, really. Ugh. Look at Adam. He's so scared. Mm. I may not be able to get this one. This is very. Okay, I did it. Home oh, board. So see, he looks a little bit more like a little, a little jellyfish. Uh, let's see if I can find the hole. Where's your, where's your little hole? I have to have a hole. Hmm. I'm gonna check so I know you have a hole somewhere. Right. There, I think I found this hole, so that's good. All right. So anyway, that's what he looks like. And I'm going to pause this right now and I'll come back 
because I will do these other ones off camera. Oh, so I'm back. That took a little bit of time because <laughs> these are hard to cut and plus um, the static cleaning is crazy. But there, there they are. There's the blue jellyfish and my red one. So the last few steps, I'll see if I can do this. Oh, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I forgot one last step. So I have all of my um, jellyfish cut out here. And I guess I'll start with this one, the clear one. I'm gonna open my bowls and get ready to put inside because what I have to do next is I have to make sure there's some air in here, so I have to blow a little bit of air in here, and then I have to put in water. And I'm using a dropper because that's gonna work the best, I think, with you know how small the space is. So I'm gonna try to get some air in there first. Now I gotta find the opening first. <laughs> I made an opening. Okay, I got some air in there. I'm going to try to stick this right in. It's supposed to be halfway full of water, it said. <laughs> I don't know if this one's going to work. Because they said once you do that, you twist it. But the water fell out, so I don't know. I'm going to try. Uh -huh. no. Let's see what we can do here. This is a little bit tricky. I'm gonna, plus, this one wasn't, I have to say, wasn't the best one because. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit of water in here. Okay. Okay. It's supposed to like, twist you, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Okay, I'm gonna try to stick them in though. Here, see what happens. So, then you're supposed to just stick them right in, and then you put on the lid. And then we'll have to see if it worked. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to. Right, there he is. And there he is. He's having a hard time floating back up. <laughs> there he is, there's a jellyfish. And he's floating, to, he's doing a pretty good job floating, so I guess it's okay. He's got a little bit of white in him. I'm trying to turn him around so you can see. There's his head right there. There he goes. He does better going this way than he does the other way. He's a little slow coming up here. You can see him. Kind of floats up sideways, but when I turn him this way, he does a little bit better. There. Probably if I would have added more air or something, it might have done better. But he still floats, who cares? It still does. So there he goes. There he goes. That's a lot better. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. <laughs> he's, he's just an amazing little jellyfish. He can do it either way. <laughs> yeah, so there's the jellyfish. I think he's really cute. Okay, so let's try these other guys. Oh, and I got my big old thing here. Should be interesting. I'm going to take that down. Let's do the red one first. Why not? Okay, make a little opening. All right. Honestly, you can check the directions because I don't know which I'm supposed to do first. To be honest, I didn't really look. Okay. Stick him right in. Just get right in there. Get right in there. Alright, I'm going to do his buddy. I don't know if this plastic is going to work because it's different than the other stuff they recommended. We'll see what happens. It either will work or it won't work. That's what experiments are for and other things are for. This one's leaking. <laughs> I got a little bit in there. Okay, I'm going to stuff you right in there. And put the lid on. We'll see what happens. Ugh. What are you guys going to do? Oh, you guys were not. Let's see. You guys are together though. I didn't really want you together. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I can't separate them. Come on, they're supposed to be separate. Well, they definitely rise and they fall. <laughs> this is heavy to do. Oh, I'll be honest. That was one of the heavy one. <laughs> Wait, okay. Well, they are floating. I just don't feel like they look as 
jellyfish like is maybe this guy. This guy looks a little more jellyfish like because he's clear. But. <laughs> kind of look like two pom poms <laughs> floating. Mm. But they're, they're doing it separately and they are doing what they're supposed to do. So. That's pretty neat. Oh. Why is the top of the There, so I get a red and blue jellyfish, sort of. <laughs> that was fun stuff. I mean, if I could bring it closer, I would uh, try not to drive my table off. Alright, let's see. It just doesn't stay on the camera. <laughs> He's already up, okay. Now they're not even. Yeah, they might have needed more. I don't know if this was the right plastic to use for them. Or maybe they needed something else. Because they don't really go all the way to the bottom like they should. They like to hang out the top. And it's kind of hard to... Yeah, see? They should, they should go to the bottom. But they're already at the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. That was an experiment anyway. It sort of works. I'm going to do it sideways. But they do tend to just stick together. They're not, they're not really going separate or anything. This one works the best, in my opinion. There he goes. So I like this one. I really like this one. And I like the color of the water. So this one, I think, did the best out of both of them. So you can definitely tell he's floating in there. And I like that he's clear. Let's see, he looks really jelly jellyfish-like. Except he's floating upside down. That's pretty impressive. There we go. So anyway, that is jellyfish in a bottle. Um, I think this one is the winner. This one turned out the best. This one, like I said, was an experiment. It would have been cool to have, you know, blue and red jellyfish. And I mean, it's, it's not like it doesn't work. It just doesn't really look as, as real as, as um, that one. But it still works. You can see them floating to the top. So anyway, that's my video. That's my Fun Craft Friday for this week. So thank you all so much for watching. And, um... I hope everybody keep you everybody has a great day. Keep having fun and I'll see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.